Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to do a quick craft update. This is like the 20th time I've filmed this, so I'm kind of out of breath. So first I'll start off with the polymer clay charms. First I made this pizza using Fimo Choose Tutorial. It made eight pieces, but I actually gave away a few and sold some. And so right here I have six of them, and I made some of them into charms, and some of them into little figurines or cabochons. And next, I made three books. I made a Mockingjay one for the Hunger Games, and two Twilight books, one's Twilight and one's New Moon. And these both have cell phone straps since I just got those. And so, those are those. Next, I tried to make some chibis. They aren't that good because they're my first ones. Here, I made this Mad Hatter one, and it has this little tag. And if you can see, it's like really small compared to my fingernail. And these two are inspired by Spickle Spam and Alice in Wonderland is like my favorite movie ever, so I made those two. And then like my second favorite movie is Napoleon Dynamite. So I made him and his little glasses and I really like how all the faces turned out. And I put vote for Pedro, but the bottom part of Pedro kind of slipped out under so you can't really see it that well. So those are those. And next I made a Willy Wonka bar chocolate bar and it just has rose cl red clay. Next I made this Mickey Mouse donut. I made a few of these. I just wanted to make one for my collection since I'm completely starting over. I threw out all my old ones. Next I have this little Oreo friendship charm. It's inspired by Maxter Mooch and uh, she actually made it into a big Oreo macaroon friendship charm. Or I, I think it's just a regular charm but I was inspired to make it like this and these are coffee beans and a chocolate middle. And it just clicks together. I really, I really like how this one turned out. Next, I made two of these boba tea cookies. And these are probably like my favorite charms I've ever made. Especially this one. And lately I've been trying to paint on faces. I don't usually do that. So this one's pretty bad. But I think this one turned out kind of well. And uh, so they're little boba tea cookies. Inspired by Maxter Mooch. And uh, the backs are shaded and textured. Next, I have this Easter basket for Easter. It has little Easter eggs in a basket. And I put chain, and it's connected. And I made this little chocolate chip cookie cake inspired by Pink Gym Girl. Next, I made this little block of clay. And this is, I think, the first face that I've ever painted on. I really don't like it, but I think the charm is cute. And as you can see on my nail, it's, like, really small. And the faces I painted on on here are small, too. See, like on the chibis, these faces are made out of clay. I like using clay better. Next, I made this fruit tart charm, which I really like how this turned out. Because I just started using TLS and making things like that. And so, I've used TLS to secure all my eye pins, and I think it works really well. And this is inspired by Love's Crafting. Next, I made this glee charm, which I really like because I'm like a glee addict. I watch it every Tuesday. And it's just like a little yellow sign in the hand. This is also inspired by Maxter Mooch. And uh, I made this Hawaiian lei. This is inspired by Autumn Breeze 10. And I just used some Hawaiian leis. And since I don't have any translucent, I just used white clay. Put a little jump ring to make it a charm. And next I have this xylophone. This is also inspired by Maxter Mooch. These are like all inspired by Maxter Mooch. And these little things that you hit the xylophone with, I forgot what they're called, but they have little sad faces because if you were getting hit on xylophones all day, I don't really think you'd be that happy. And so I attached a little chain with it, and here's the xylophone. And they each have different faces on it, and I'm kind of happy how these faces turn out, especially this one. And next, I got some woodsies, and so I made these two figurines. I made this little breakfast set. I really like how this one turned out, and I used TLS to make the syrup and little eggs and a toast, and this toast is really textured and uh, shaded, and this one, and these are all really small, so I'm happy how this turned out. The eggs were, like, really easy to make. If you want me to make a tutorial on any of these, you can just tell me. And this is my favorite one. This is probably the favorite of the charms I made. It's a little cake roll miniature, and I just put little dots on the side to make it look pretty, and I got some new f fruit canes. And so that's that. And the cake roll is um, textured. And move all these over. And 
I have this really bad fail. This is inspired by Max Damage. And I used Sculpey Translucent. And she used, I think it was either Primo or Female Translucent. And I should have gotten that first. So I really am <laughs> sad about this. And I just used a toothpick and covered it in white clay. I'm really sad about how that came out. Because I was really looking forward to it. And it had a really cute face. Oh, well try again. And I kind of have this fail too. It's a little bento box using oh dang it. I forgot what the um girl's called but she has a tutorial on it and this is in Max or Mooch's craft update so you can check that out and she has a link to the tutorial. I haven't painted the sides yet because I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. I don't really like it that much. But yeah this is a tiny little bento box and you can put like the little cookies that I made in it. Hey, it matches. Ooh, I kind of like this. Maybe I'll keep it just like this. And so that's the, that's what that is. And this is like my favorite thing, maybe, so far. And um, for the Hunger Games, because I'm like addicted to them now. I haven't seen the movie, but I'm really looking forward to it. I made this Malark Bakery necklace. Oh my gosh, I love this necklace. And I just used gold female clay. And I textured it to look like wood. I made a little Malark Bakery sign and uh, the three types of bread. And these are textured and faded and faded, <laughs> shaded. That's that. And now I have, uh, well, this was not, not in clay too, but I really, this is like colossal. So I have this notepad that I made. If you can't tell, it's Chapeau from Sentimental Circus. And it's just a ordinary pad, and then I just made this out of felt. And I'm thinking about opening a shop with, like, my charms or these little felt pads or anything. So if you would like to see any of these charms or my notepad in a shop, please PM me or leave a comment or anything, really. And I hope you guys like it, and I'll talk to you later. Alright, bye.